Welcome to the Locked on Titans podcast. I am your host, Tyler Rowland. Titans fans, it is a Thursday edition of the Locked on Titans podcast. And on today's show, we are doing a full schedule preview. Tonight, the Tennessee Titans 2022 full schedule debuts. And I'm getting you guys ready to go. First, we'll go over all of the Titans opponents in 2022 and whether the Titans play them at home or on the road. Then we're going to get into my schedule wish list. I'm going to go over what games and what opponents I want to see against the Titans in prime time. And we'll cap off the show with some more expectations, some more wish list stuff when we look at what the Titans schedule may be in 2022. Getting you ready for the Titans schedule release on a Thursday edition of the Locked On Titans podcast. Let's get it! You are Locked On Titans, your daily Tennessee Titans podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Titans fans, it is a Thursday edition of the Locked On Titans podcast. The Titans schedule is going to be debuting tonight on Thursday night. We're going to know every single game, where it's played, when it's played, who it's played against all the way through. Now, we already do know a little bit about the Titans 2022 schedule. We know every opponent, and we know whether that game is going to be at home or on the road, but we do not know the order. We do not know which games are going to be in prime time. We got one game on the docket that we already know about in prime time, and I'll go over that with you guys. But before we dive into today's schedule preview, I want to thank you guys for making the Locked On Titans podcast your first listen every day. If this is your first ever listen to the Locked On Titans podcast, make sure you subscribe on whatever platform you do stream. You can find the Locked On Titans podcast everywhere and always free. That includes the Locked On Titans YouTube channel. Subscribe over there. Smash that notification bell so you know when the content goes live. Throw a thumbs up on the video if you're watching on YouTube right now. You can also check me out on social media at Tic Tac Titans on Twitter at Locked On Titans for the Locked On Titans Facebook page. Do want to let you guys know that I'm going to be going live on the YouTube channel, on my Twitter, on my Facebook account after the Titans schedule is released on Thursday night to break everything down. So head to the YouTube channel tonight. Again, subscribe right now so that you're ready to go for when I go live after the schedule is debuted. I'm very excited for that and to chop it up with you guys after we know when and where and in what order the Titans are playing. But with that in mind, let's dive into the Titans opponents for the 2022 season and whether those games will be at home or on the road. So starting with the home games, of course, three home games to the three division opponents, the Indianapolis Colts, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Houston Texans. That's an obvious given. Then the Titans have a home game against the Denver Broncos. The AFC West, unfortunately, is a division the Titans will play the entirety of in the 2022 season, but the Titans get the Broncos at home and I like that with the altitude in Denver and them now having Russell Wilson. It was a tough game against Denver when the Titans played in Denver when they had Drew Locke playing in Denver against Russell Wilson. Now that would be incredibly difficult. So not having to travel out west, not having to play in that altitude, happy with that game being at home. Then the Titans host the Las Vegas Raiders as well. Again, that AFC West slate. Then the Titans will host... The Dallas Cowboys. The Titans actually played against the Cowboys in primetime in 2018. That's probably a game right there, the Cowboys, that I'll be going to trying to get down to Tennessee, take my mom, who is a big Dallas Cowboys fan. So that would be a good time. So the Titans will host the Dallas Cowboys. I think that could be a potential primetime option. Also at home, the Titans play the New York Giants. The Titans will play the NFC East. Uh, as well here. So the New York Giants, the Titans will play at home, and the Cincinnati Bengals will travel back to Tennessee. I was actually at that game uh, when the Titans played the Bengals in, I believe it was 2018. DeMarco Murray went underneath the Bengals defender and stretched the ball out over the goal line for the game-winning score. I absolutely went nuts. I was recording a Snapchat after they won. I lost my breath. I passed out my chair. My brother woke me up and asked if I was okay. I was lightheaded, man. I was so hyped 
one of my favorite Tennessee Titans memories of all time. So might have to make the trip back down to Tennessee for that one as well. Another game that I think could have some prime time, uh, some prime time appeal. Let's say the away slate. So the home slate is the the Colts, the Jaguars, the Texans, the Broncos, the Raiders, the Cowboys, the Giants, the Bengals. The away slate for the Titans, of course, the three division games, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Houston. But then the Titans continuing that AFC West slate that they're on have to go on the road to play Kansas City. The Titans lost their last game there in Kansas City, that playoff game will forever haunt me. Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. The Titans will have to go all the way out to LA, which will be their longest trip of the year. But honestly, not a lot of West Coast tripping for the Titans. So that's pretty advantageous. The Titans are in the bottom five, or at least bottom seven, I believe, of total mileage out of teams going across the country into their games. The Titans got a big uh, break when it comes to travel this season. Uh, the Titans also will have to go on the road to Philadelphia. You guys smell that? Oh, that's that's sizzle, baby. That is sizzle right there. I got some um, some suggestions for that game that we'll get to in our next uh, part of our conversation. Also, with the NFC East, the Washington football team, the Titans will have to go to Washington to play them. They'll be on the road to play against Buffalo, which is a game we know will already be in week two on Monday Night Football as part of a Monday Night Football doubleheader. So we know about that game being a primetime game for the Titans. That rivalry with Buffalo keeps coming up. And then the Titans will, sadly, go on the road and play the Green Bay Packers again, which uh, did not go very well for them the last time that they did that. But that game was late in the year in December. They thought that would cater to the Titans. It did not. We'll see what happens with that game. So the away slate. The three division opponents, Indy, Jacksonville, and Houston, Kansas City, Los Angeles Chargers, Philly, Washington football team, Buffalo. I'm not calling them the commanders, not doing it. Buffalo Bills and the Green Bay Packers. So with all the opponents in your mind, with whether it's home or away in your mind, we will move forward to my wish list for the schedule. I'm going to tell you guys what games I hope are in prime time when I want some of the games to happen. And that'll be our conversation going forward throughout the rest of of the episode, but I want to tell you guys about rockauto.com. Rockauto.com is an online parts company that has been serving do it yourselfers for over 20 years. Their online catalog is remarkably easy to use, it's easy to navigate. You can quickly find all the parts that you need, and they have everything that you could possibly need from uh, brake parts to tail lamps to motor oil, even brand new carpet. So make sure that you guys go to rockauto.com right now to see all the parts available for your car or truck. And when you do, make sure that you write locked on in the how did you hear about us box so they know that I sent you. Amazing selection, reliably low prices, all the parts your car will ever need, rockauto.com. Titans fans, we are going to continue this Thursday schedule preview edition of the Locked On Titans podcast. I want to dive into my, my wish list for the schedule. Games I want to see in prime time when I want certain games to be scheduled based on how I think it'll give the Titans an advantage. We're going to be going through all of that throughout the rest of the show. Before we get into it, I do want to thank you guys again for making the Locked On Titans podcast your first listen every day. Remember, I am going to be going live probably around 8.15 Eastern, maybe 8.30 at the latest, after the Titans schedule is debuted on the Locked on Titans YouTube channel. Subscribe there right now. If you aren't already, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell. If you're listening just to the audio podcast, find a way to get to the YouTube channel when I go live. Yes, I'm going to upload that as a podcast on Friday morning for you guys so you can have my reaction to the schedule. But it's going to be really fun to interact with you guys live afterwards. So make sure that you guys are ready to go for that Locked on Titans, your team, every day. But let's dive into my wish list here. And I'm going to start with primetime games. The, the games that I think should be in primetime and where the Titans should get primetime games. I'm only expecting three. I would not be surprised if it was only two primetime games for the Titans this year. They have less sizzle now without A.J. Brown. But still some sizzle there, of course. So I'm gonna I'm gonna project three 
primetime games for the Titans, a Thursday night, a Sunday night, and a Monday night football. Uh, that's what I'll do there. So starting with those, we know that the Monday night football game is week two at Buffalo. We know that. So boom, check that off. I'm okay with that. That's a fun game always, that Monday night rematch from last year, the the COVID-impacted game from the year before, even the uh, the drop, the Nick Williams, right? Isn't that the name I tried to, I really did try to put it out of my head. Uh, the Nick Williams drop in the end zone for the Titans in 2018, I believe just so, so much pain from that memory. God still haunts me, but either way, the Titans and the Bills have played a ton of really good games lately. So no surprise that the NFL decided to do that. Excuse me. <laughs> but moving forward, cause we know that's the Monday night football game for me. Thursday night football, give me Philly. The Titans on the road at Philadelphia for Thursday night football. A.J. Brown revenge game. Put that thing in October. It, oh, I mean, that those two fan bases don't like each other now because of everything that went down. There's been multiple trades between those teams in recent memory. The Corey Davis walk-off overtime catch in 2018, obviously stinging the Philadelphia Eagles there. So I think there are a lot of reasons why Philly against Tennessee could be an awesome Thursday night football game. I would love to see that. Now, as for the Sunday night game, I know that the, when the Titans and the Cowboys play each other, that's a good spot for the NFL to put those teams on national football. The Cowboys can elevate the Titans a little bit because the Titans don't have the strongest television fan base. So the Cowboys elevate there, but also the Titans are a good team. So you know that you're going to get a competitive, good television product on the screen. I think that could make a lot of sense as a Sunday night football game. The only thing is that game is at home for the Titans. And I don't know if, I don't know if the NFL really wants to put the Titans on Sunday night football at home. They put them on Sunday night football in LA last year. Again, another big marquee market trying to lift up uh, the Titans fan base that isn't as ravenous when it comes to making the NFL money as maybe some other fan bases. Um, but maybe the Titans feel confident with Nashville progressing. The Titans are going to build a stadium. Why not give them a, a big Sunday night football game to see if we can kind of, uh, check out how they're going to do with big profile football games. I think that could make sense. So the Cowboys coming in for TV reasons can help elevate that game. And then again, the Bengals. The Titans versus the Bengals playoff rematch, Sunday night football. I think that could be excellent. Again, the last time these teams played in Tennessee, DeMarco Murray walk-off, exciting football game. The playoff game, while not high scoring, exciting football game. A lot of bad blood there between the two sides now because of some of the talk that happened before and after the game. I know the fan base in Cincinnati despises me, even though I was right about the right side of their offensive line, whatever. But yeah, I think Bengals or Cowboys could be an awesome Sunday night football game for the Titans. Uh, then some non-primetime games, but just some big games. The first game of the year and the last game of the year. For the first game of the year, I want this to be an easier game for the Titans. Give me the New York Giants. I know they have a new regime there, a new GM, a new coach. But Daniel Jones is a turnover machine. And while I believe that Brian Dable is a good head coach, it's week one. They're not going to have time to fully install their system and get comfortable with the new way that they're playing on offense and defense with Wink Martindale's confusing and elaborate and complex defense with all the different blitzes and formations and alignments. They're not they're not going to be as comfortable in their new systems in week 1 as they may be halfway through the year. So give me the New York Giants who already aren't a great team. I think they'll be improved this year, but I don't think they're going to make the playoffs or anything like that. So a non-playoff team learning a brand new system on offense and defense on the road cuz the Titans play the Giants at home, so the Giants will be on the road learning a new offense, learning a new defense with not that great of a roster anyways. I think that would be an ideal fit for the Titans in week one. And then the last game of the year, can the Titans finally have Houston at home? I love playing the Houston Texans in week 17, despite the fact that the Titans always give me a heart attack and make it a freaking nail biter. I still like that. Give me Jacksonville or Houston in week 17, but for God's sake, can it be at home instead of being on the road? Can the Titans play at home? In week 17. That's all I want. 
All right. It's going to be a division opponent. I don't want it to be Indy. Let Indy play in Jacksonville in week 17. I love that for them. Okay? I love that. It's my favorite song. So, give me Houston or give me Jacksonville at home in week 17 for the Titans. That would be, that's like my big prime time, big game wish list for them. I am going to get into some more wish wishes that I have for the schedule. Like, uh, I got a game where I want the Titans by to be afterwards. I got a game where I want the Titans by to be before. Uh, some teams I want to play later in the season. Some teams I want to play early in the season. So we're going to dive into all of that. But before we do, want to tell you guys about BetOnline.net. BetOnline.net is your number one source for all your betting needs and your sports information. You can find all the latest odds props, and news at betonline.net. They have everything you need for this year's basketball playoffs, the Major League Baseball season, the UFC or boxing fights, even uh, NFL futures are available as well. BetOnline is your continued source for all your sporting wagering information. They have live betting. They have eSports, even your favorite Vegas casino games. Head to their website today or use your mobile device to learn all about the trends and all about the action at BetOnline. Bet online where the game starts. Titans fans, we are going to cap off this Thursday schedule preview edition of the Locked On Titans podcast with uh, some more of my wish list. For the schedule, we talked about the Titans' opponents, both home and away to start. We went into my prime time and first and last wish list. Now I'm going to get into some of the middle of the schedule wish list things that I have when I want the Titans' buy to be, the team before and after the buy, early games, late games, all that. Before we get into it, I do want to thank you guys again for making the Locked On Titans podcast your first listen every day. As for your second listen, check out the Locked On NFL podcast. You get all your Titans news in less than 30 minutes here with me every day at the Locked On Titans podcast. Now get all your national NFL news with the Locked On NFL podcast. I actually host the Thursday show, so I would appreciate the support if you went over to the Locked On NFL podcast, free and available on all platforms, including the Locked On NFL YouTube channel, and you checked it out through a like, through a sub, all that, I would greatly appreciate it. So, uh, again, you get your Titans news with me, get your national NFL news with the Locked On NFL podcast, free and available on all platforms. But let's dive into my continued wish list here. Number one, I want the Titans by to be sometime between week 9 and week 12. I want it to be a little later in the year. I don't want it in the first eight weeks of the season. The season is a grind. I want the Titans to get that bye week, like we saw uh, last year, get that bye week later in the year so they can recharge their batteries before the final stretch of the season. I think that's very important. Uh, With that being said, the team that I want to play before the bye is the Los Angeles Chargers. I want the Titans to be able to have the bye after they travel out to the West Coast of the country. Like I said earlier in the show, that is the furthest trip that the Titans are going to take all year long. So I want them to do that, and then I want them to come back and have the bye so that they can rest and recalibrate. The Titans got to play that on the road. I just want them to to not be too affected by the travel. So that's what I want to see. Now, the game that I want to come after the bye for the Titans is the Green Bay game on the road. I think the Titans need as much help dealing with the Packers as possible. I know they don't have Devontae Adams, but Matt LaFleur knows how to attack the Titans' defense. It just worries me, okay? The Titans got shellacked in Green Bay last time. I want them to have as much time to prep for that as possible, okay? So that's just how I'm seeing it. Chargers, bye, Packers. I would would be good with that. Also, I want to play Kansas City early before they get rolling. Like we saw last year, the Titans get to play KC early. They were playing like crap early on in the year. They lost Tyreek Hill. There may be an adjustment period for them. I want to play KC in like the first five weeks of the season. Okay, get that out of the way. Go ahead and play them early. And then on the other side of the spectrum, 
I want to play the Washington football team. Commanders. Whatever. What a terrible name. I want to play them later in the year. I think by the end of the year, they're going to be out of the race. They're going to have realized that Carson Wentz is not the answer. And I think that playing Washington later in the year when they have less to play for on a team that may kind of check out a little bit with Wentz as their leader, I would rather play Washington later in the season for the Titans. If that could be one of the last games of the year, I like the Miami game. If that could be in like the Miami slot, like week 16, I think that would be better for the Titans. It is on the road. I'm okay with that. I'd rather play that game later in the year. Also, I won a game against Jacksonville in the first four weeks. I think Jacksonville is going to be better this year. I think they're going to be improved with just a regular NFL football coach and a better roster. So I want to play Jacksonville early in the year before they get things together. And similarly, the Denver Broncos. Don't want to play them late in the year when they've gelled, when Russell Wilson understands his weapons, all that. I want to play the Broncos earlier in the season. Okay, give me in the first eight weeks to play the Broncos at home. Likewise, one more. I want to play the Raiders later in the year. I'm expecting a slide for the Raiders despite the addition of Devontae Adams and Chandler Jones. I think that the Raiders play an incredibly tough division. I think there's a chance that by the last three weeks of the season, there are slim chances of making the playoffs, and that would be a better time to play that team than earlier in the year, in my opinion. So that's kind of what I'm looking at there, guys. My primetime wish list. My early in the season, late in the season, bye week wish list, all that. The teams the Titans are going to play. I am so excited to break down the full schedule when it's released later on tonight. Again, make sure you guys join me live on the Locked On Titans YouTube channel uh, for a full schedule breakdown. Excited for that and for the podcast crowd that simply can't. I'm going to be releasing that as the podcast on Friday morning, so you guys will get to hear that reaction no matter what. But that's going to do it for me today, folks. As always, I am your host. Tyler Rowland, and this was Locked on Titan.